Air signs collectively leave a Gemini Aquarius, April 19th, 30th, 2021. We're going to see what's going on with my babies, all right? Leave a Gemini Aquarius collectively. Let's see. So Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, I definitely feel like you guys may be having to choose between two different lovers here. Or if you guys don't have to choose between two different lovers, it's like you're having cutthroat communication. Or there's a need for you to um, have cutthroat communication here. Let's see what's going on. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, collectively, April 19th through 30th, 2021. All right. Get the fuck outside. Move your ass. Your body is pissed at you. Some more physical activity. I feel you guys are needing to do more, okay? Stop sitting on your ass. Stop sitting outside. Um, I mean, stop sitting inside. Go outside, okay? Stop sleeping so damn much. Wake, wake up. You are missing some cool shit. So a lot of you guys are too busy sleeping or trying to get your rest. But like I said, you guys can be feeling tired, bogged down, or lethargic during this time. You are talented and fucking amazing. The world needs your voice. The world needs your power. Use your voice. Don't just don't use it for dumb shit. So I'm stuttering. So again, you guys can be stuttering when you get nervous, when you get mad, or when you're up to no good. You can be stuttering here. You have a speech impediment, a lisp as well. Be fucking grateful. Shit could be so much worse. So I definitely feel like you guys. It's like a need for you to see things for what it is. Maybe you're realizing that it's like stop. Maybe you guys are feeling like you're sleeping is like. Healing you, but again, I feel like there's a need for you guys to wake up and smell the coffee, or there's a need for you guys to do something differently, is what I'm hearing, okay? So, I got the coffin and the key card. So, I feel like there's something that you're doing that's detrimental to your health, physical, emotional, mental, okay, spiritual health here, or you're doing something over and over and over. Um, this could also be um, having to deal with funerals or people that may have passed, like past loved ones as well. This can also be you going to a funeral as well, Libra Gemini Aquarius. Or, like I said, this is happening to do with your health, like taking care of your health, going to the doctor, okay? So, key, I feel like there's a need for you guys to maybe um, some type of death. You can be getting an ancestral love reading from me as well. But I'm also getting, um, and this is, if you are getting an ancestral love reading, maybe this is uh, me and you both unlocking some type of cue, unlocking some type of um, growth here when it comes to a past loved one. This could be a lover, a friend, um, a family member as well as some type of like child, okay? But I'm also getting, you guys can be waiting for some type of new beginnings here. I feel like whatever endings is going on in your life is needing to happen, but I'm also getting, you have to let go of the past here, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. A lot of you guys are trying to unlock some type of new cycle, new love, new marriage, new whatever, and it's like, you have to let go of the past here. I'm also getting going into a new direction here. I'm also getting steps, so maybe you guys are um, taking the steps here, or it's like, so maybe some of you guys are remodeling your home. Or doing something when it comes to the home, when it comes to like steps here. Or like I say, a foundation. Having you need to let go of the past in order for you to have a strong foundation of something as well, Libra Gemini Aquarius. But I'm also getting a key. So this can also be you guys can be getting keys to a new home, a new car here. Or it's like maybe this is like um educational keys, right? Like spiritual keys. Like maybe you guys are, like I said, there's something that you're doing. It's going to be speaking out, manifesting spell work here. It's like maybe you guys are thinking that you're on the right path. But again, I feel like there's some type of detriment to your health here and that's why i'm getting like keys like maybe you guys are thinking that you have the keys or something but in actuality you guys can be mentally going crazy here um for some of you or it's like you guys have a hard time i'm um, going to sleep or it's like uh rest is anxious here your thoughts are racing is what i'm getting okay for others of you i feel like whatever is happening when it comes to a death or this can be a past death or something that have maybe passing during this time here, I feel like this is like you realizing like you need to let something go or something is like a clearing is what I'm getting. Okay, this can also be clearing up your clutter, clearing out your house, clean up your car, clean out your house. Um, I said that twice, so two, two, two. Maybe there's a repeat or you're repeating something here. So again, there's something that you went through April 19, 2020 that you're going through again. Okay, so April 19th through 30th, 2021. You could be repeating something, like something is happening again that you went through April 19th through 30th in 2020. All right? So, 
again, I feel like you guys can be indecisive here, leave the Gemini Aquarius. Some of you guys are definitely focusing on getting to the money here, okay? But I feel like the page of swords, some of you guys are trying to figure out what's going to be best for you, what's going to be beneficial for you here. Again, I feel like this is having to do with a relationship and connections around you, family, friends, social group, okay? I feel like some of you guys are trying to communicate, like you guys can be indecisive on how you're wanting to communicate to a person that you like them, that you love them, or that you're wanting to. It's like the Ace of Swords and the Seven of Cups is in reverse here. So I feel like some of you guys are want are needing to get out of confusion or you will be getting out of confusion when it comes to a love situation or friendship or some type of connection here that you're with. I'm also getting some of you guys are trying to start communications with somebody here. It's like seven of cups of verse. Maybe you guys had this some type of illusion spell, Libra Gemini Aquarius, or you were confused in some type of way or form. Okay. I'm also getting maybe you guys were in some type of illusion or some type of spell when it comes to a lover, like specifically a lover, a Gemini. Could be a Libra Gemini Aquarius. Okay. Scorpio Cancer Pisces Capricorn Virgo Taurus. Okay. You were in the, under some type of love spell or you were under some type of confusion or conflict here. I feel like you guys are getting out of some um, type of conflict. Here in the Ten of Pentacles, I definitely feel like you guys are really focused on trying to get a family business started here. Or this can be you communicating to some type of lover that you have, like a friend. This can be a friend, a family member, someone that you're with here, connected to, that you're wanting to start um, a business with. Okay, the Nine of Pentacles and the Queen of Swords. But I feel like, again, with the whole cutting off things from the past, some of you guys are really focused on money or trying to get to the money here. And I feel like someone can also have a hand in your finances. So... What I'm getting here, Libra Gemini Aquarius, either you're, it's like someone that you sleep with or someone that you lay with has a direct, um, it's like they, they tell you what to do when it comes to your finances here, or they give you money, or they're the reason why you have this house or you have this job or whatever the case is, okay? So I feel like, um, when it comes to a love relationship here, I feel like you could be communicating that you want to get out of some type of tie here. Okay, some of you guys are also looking at a family business or you're trying to figure out what you can do to be more lucrative. Okay, let's see. Yeah, I feel like some of you guys are trying to figure out how you can get to this ten of pentacles here. Like, um, for some of you, like I said, you're in a relationship or you're married or you're messing with somebody who gives you money or who's financially, like you're financially dependent on or you're trying to start a uh, family business, a friend business, collaborate with somebody here, and you think that it's going to be very lucrative, the Knight of Pentacles and the Queen of Swords, but again, for some reason, I feel like you guys are only going to get one pentacle, so you go from the Ten to the Nine of Pentacles, so I feel like there's going to be some type of plan, like maybe you put some type of plan together here, and you realize that you need to cut something off here, the Knight of Swords, the Knight of Swords, but I feel like some of you guys are going back on your word, because this is Libra Gemini Aquarius, this is your energy, so some of you guys are trying to um, plan on a strategy or strategically plan how you're going to make money, how you're going to get money. And this can be also some type of family inheritance as well. But I'm also getting like a family business or you're coming together with a family member. This can also be coming together with a friend here and the Knight of Pentacles. I feel like it's like someone can also be watching you as well. Okay, you guys can also have Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus in your chart here. You guys can also have Libra, Gemini, Aquarius in your chart. But I'm getting... um. Okay, for some of you guys, if you're trying to partner with somebody or you're trying to collaborate with somebody, a family member or a family business here, you're going to realize like you're more you're more successful doing something on your own. But I feel like some of you guys are already going to be involved in it. Like right now, you guys are already involved in some type of family business or um, friend business or collaboration, like giving some money to your honey or your um, wife, husband giving money to you your wife, husband involved in your work, your ideas or something like that. Or like I said, you're like putting together a plan right now is what I'm hearing. But again, for some of you guys, I feel like you guys are realizing the four of swords. It's like you realize like you're going to be up at night stressed, anxious here. Yeah, about some type of new opportunity or because you're having to wait. The seven of wands is in reverse. So I feel like you guys are ready, are trying to not three of wands is in reverse. So that's ten of wands in reverse. So... It's like Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. I have 10, 10, so I feel like there's endings. So for some of you guys, I feel like if you're trying to partner with somebody, someone's not going to partner with you, okay? Can be an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius here, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, because they feel like they're better off on their own, okay? And this can be you already have a family business here, and you're trying to partner with them. Um, But I, I feel like, again, you're going to be upset because someone is getting the, like, this Aries, Leo, Sagittarius here. Is this? 
Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, with Libra, Gemini, Aquarius in their chart, someone's going to be getting to the bag, someone's going to be getting to the money, and you're going to be looking at them like, how are you doing this? Like, how are you successful? Some of you guys are also going to be stressed out because someone is, like, it's like you guys were trying to stop somebody's finances or stop somebody from doing something. And the Nine of Cups, I feel like someone was already happy doing something by themselves here. And the Four of Swords, you guys are going to be anxious, up at night, restless here, drinking, overindulging here, like, you guys are going to be feeling like, damn, why did I do this here, okay? And some of you guys may have been asking yourself, why did I try and mess up this person's A, B, and C? The Ace of Wands may, be, may have been like, why did I try and do an opportunity with this person, okay? Because I feel like the seven and the three, someone's definitely telling no, okay? But I'm also getting your options are also going to be dwindling here, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. And I feel like, again, this could be because you tried to do some type of collaboration contract business contract or you just was focused on the money some of you guys were really so focused on the money that you chose a career path and idea or you chose to do something with somebody else here not realizing that that's really gonna fuck you up or that will be fucking you up here because the nine of cups is like someone's really happy and sufficient and stable and independent by themselves here and again they could be young younger than you okay i'm getting 25 26 27 okay and I feel like whoever I'm reading for, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, you guys are 27. You guys are 27 turning 28, 29, 30, 31, 40, 50. You guys are in that range. So maybe this is a lot of older women that's upset about a younger person here. Because, again, this could be also a group here where it's like someone doesn't have time for conflict or drama or he say, she say. Someone, you may have also exiled somebody out, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, because of, like, what they chose. When it comes to making money, and I feel like in a split of an eye, this Aries Leo Sagittarius is going to be very happy, very successful, very stable. The Ten of Pentacles, like I said, is like you guys are going to be work. You guys are going to be worrying, sitting here like, oh, I should have treated this person better, okay? But I'm also thinking some of you guys are putting 100, 1,000 into something here, and you're only getting one type of pentacle back here, and you're realizing that you're needing to stop do. You're needing to stop doing. You're needing to stop. Um, investing or putting time or effort or money into something here because it's not going to grow. Because the Three of Wands and the Seven of Wands reverse is like Ten of Wands in reverse. So I feel like you're not going to get what you what you think is what I'm getting. And I'm also getting it's like your whatever options or opportunities that you thought was going to be available to you, they're not going to be available to you anymore here, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. And again, I feel like the Four of Swords because you guys were thinking, this is like thinking something negative, speaking negative about yourself, about other people. It's like you was weighing on somebody's downfall here as well, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. And like I said, all these wand cards it has to do with an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Okay, a Gemini. Somebody that has Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Gemini in their chart. Okay? Someone that has Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Gemini in their chart. For real. And that's really what I'm getting. Because the Seven of Cups of Verses, like someone's telling you, like, look, no, I don't want to partner with you. I don't want to build with you. I don't want to collaborate with you. I'm good doing something on my own. I'm stable. I'm independent. Okay? And this can be a family member. This can be somebody that you're in a relationship with. Or this can be somebody that you're closely, like, in love with as well. Okay? So, like I said, it's like Libra Gemini Aquarius. You can't be mad at somebody if they don't want to partner with you. Okay? Or if this is you realizing that's the type of family business or love business here, it's like a relationship. Somebody's funding your finances, Libra Gemini Aquarius. Or, like I said, you're in a family business, you're in some type of um, collaboration. Look, and the Queen of Pentacles is in reverse. So it's like you guys were so focused on money, so focused on getting to the money, so focused on getting this money from a family member, from a lover, from some type of connection, or what have you. It's like you're not even going to be successful in doing so. It's like you're also going to be watching somebody else get their success or get their abundance is what I'm hearing. All right? So let's move on.